We finally have Tropical Storm Ophelia just off of our coastline. Yesterday it was titled Potential Tropical Cyclone 16 because it did not have a closed center of circulation. Now that it has that closed center of circulation, it is considered a tropical storm. So Tropical Storm Ophelia, 60 mile per hour winds and moving off to the north northwest at about 12 miles per hour. As it continues to move off to the north northwest, we are going to see landfall somewhere just north of Wilmington along the North Carolina beaches. Then of course as it continues to move inland it's going to lose its energy so down to 45 miles per hour tomorrow night that eventually becoming post-tropical heading into Pennsylvania by Sunday morning. Now we've already seen some isolated showers and some gusty winds along the Grand Strand and in the PD this afternoon. I know I got a report of 45 miles per hour in Little River from this afternoon. Those are going to continue as we head overnight tonight and into tomorrow so the showers and the gusty winds is definitely going to continue. You notice that rain is going to creep back into the Grand Strand and into the PD by tomorrow morning. Then eventually, as it does start to make landfall, we are still going to see a band of rain start to move back, maybe even into the Midlands and Eastern Upstate. Because as tropical cyclones move inland, they start to spread out. So that's why we are expecting some isolated showers, even heading into late tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening, and maybe a few isolated showers lingering into early Sunday morning. But really, we're not going to see a lot of rain out of this. Of course, the higher totals are going to be towards to Myrtle Beach up to one to two inches, up to an inch in Georgetown, Florence, and Marlboro. But as you get further inland, you notice we're down to a tenth of an inch in Newberry and Orangeburg, and maybe a hundredth of an inch towards Greer. So really not a lot of rain is expected out of Ophelia, but it is just going to be mostly cloudy with a few isolated showers around the area. So overall, a couple of isolated showers for tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Temperatures are going to be in the low 70s for the PD, but generally in the mid 70s. So an average would be about 77 degrees for tomorrow. We do start to clear as we head into Sunday, but we also warm up a little bit up into the mid 80s as we head into Sunday. So if you are heading out to any of the college football games for tomorrow night, Clemson is in town taking on Florida State. It is going to be a bit cool as we do start our tailgating. Temperatures in the upper 50s, eventually making it into the mid-70s by kickoff and maybe right around 80 as that game is coming to an end. Kickoff is at 12 o'clock. We also have South Carolina at williams Bryce Stadium kicking off tomorrow night at 730. It is going to be a bit cooler for tomorrow afternoon around 76 as you are starting your tailgating plan. 72 for kickoff then down into the mid-60s as we do start to end that game. So taking a look at the 10-day forecast, we are going to see some isolated showers for tomorrow. It is going to be mostly cloudy. We do start to clear heading into Sunday as Ophelia moves away. We stay partly cloudy into Monday and even into Tuesday. A few showers will start to return late Tuesday. Showers definitely return heading into Wednesday and Thursday, but take a look at the temperatures. We're down into the mid-70s, definitely starting to feel like fall. Then heading into next weekend, we do warm up just a bit. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s and lower 80s, but it will be drier with partly cloudy skies. So keep it here at Will's Weather for all the latest information.